On today's episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, we are going to take a look at the Zakaria game packs available for purchase and download on your At Games Legends pinball machines. Were these game packs worth the investment? Let's find out. Okay, guys, we're back. It's important to note that for the sake of this review, I am just uh, doing this, uh, how these games look, appear, and function on the At Games Legends pinball machine itself. If you bought the game packs, there's also a way you could uh, have purchased the game packs for usage on your other At Games devices, your Gamer Pros, your Gamer Minis, your Legends Cores, uh, your At Games Legends Ultimate arcade machines, but obviously the pinball machine is where it's at. And that's where you're going to get the best experience. What's really interesting here, of course, is that At Games partnered with Magic Pixel in order to bring us the entire Zakaria game lineup. The particular packs that you could have purchased had upwards of 105 games if you purchased all four packs. The best part about this entire process is the fact that these games are all going to be downloaded and played on your flash drive. That's right, guys. These are all locally played games running off the flash drive. The fact that At Games and Magic Pixel got 105 games working and working very, very well in a span of only about six or seven months is truly mind-blowing. Taking a look here, of course, all you got to do is plug a flash drive into your pinball machine and go ahead and format it under the Flash Drive X setting. And once it's formatted, as you can see right here, you would just navigate down and click on Mount to mount the flash drive, essentially activate the flash drive on your pinball machine. Once you have that Flash Drive X formatted, you just navigate right over to App Store X and you'll notice you do have to update your firmwares. You have to be on the latest pinball firmwares. You'll notice that the game packs are now in the App Store X. Now, if you have purchased the game packs, At Games will have emailed you a redemption code. And once you enter the redemption code, you'll have a white dot next to the game packs. And if you say, well, how do I enter my redemption code? It's right there. You just hit the home button on the pinball machine and a pop-up message will appear asking you to key in the redemption code. Once you key that in onto the pinball machine itself, the white dot will appear next to the package for that particular code. I've already entered my code. And then of course, all you have to do is click on that particular game pack and click on that start button. And once you click on the start button, it'll say, do you want to install this onto your flash drive X? Once you click on that, it's gonna install the games onto your flash drive. Only takes a few minutes and then it's time to play pinball. Once the game pack is installed properly, you'll notice that that white dot now has a green check mark in it. That's right, guys. That means you are done. Your games are on your system. Time to head over to the tables menu and check things out. Now, before the game pack was installed, your menu looked like this. You had two pages of 22 wonderful Gottlieb Farsight Studios pinball arcade games. But after the installation of your game pack is complete, this is what you're going to see, guys. And if you bought all the game packs, you're going to have 11 pages of games. Now, currently, At Games has all of the uh, games organized just via alphabetical order amongst the 11 pages. Opportunity for improvement there. I hope At Games will have a way to maybe separate these games by category or publisher. That way we can navigate a little bit differently and find our games unless alphabetical order is what you're looking for. It's important to note that with the Zakaria pinball games, if you're not familiar with Zakaria virtual pinball games from Magic Pixel guys, and also depending on what game packs you bought. So for instance, if you bought all the game packs, you'll notice here that what you'll have that Zakaria Magic Pixel have done is you'll have like the original table, Black Belt, either the original Solid State or EM table, followed up by like a newer remake done since like the year 2015. So you have the Black Belt remake with more modern graphics, table ramps, wire ramps, um, gameplay mechanics, and then of course a retro version where the game, if it was made in the 50s, this is what it would look like. Also, all of the award tables such as Zombie, Wizard, The Mummy, Aliens, games like that, all of the award tables are included in the 105 if you purchase the entire pack. And of course, as you can see here, 
You might say, well, wait a minute, we're just getting a bunch of the same games. Yes, true, there are a lot of duplicate games, but they're duplicate games with different table mechanics, different features of each table from different eras in history. That's why you're like, wait, I can play Winter Sports, but Winter Sports Retro or whatever, and guess what? It's like a whole new game. It's the same game, but it's a whole new experience. And that's really, really cool. So to kind of give you a good visual of what this looks like, this is one of my favorite Zakaria games. It's called Spooky. And this is the original solid state version of the game. As you can see here, not too shabby. And take a look at that scoreboard. All these games are compatible with the backlash. You do have animated scoreboards throughout. On the solid state games, the scoreboards are gonna have these red LED indicators like there. And as you can see, solid state games, depending on when it was made, are a lot of fun. There's a lot of good table assets there. But if you fire up the game version of Spooky Remake, here's the remake, and as you can see, we have a lot more modern table assets. We got awesome uh, characters and toys on the table, such as that sexy skull. You got newer ramps, new, newer wire ramps, newer gameplay goals and mechanics, a different experience. And then of course, on all the remake tables, you have a beautiful animated back glass. It's the same background image, but you'll notice all the scoring has changed. On the uh, original versions, you have red LEDs. On the remake tables, you have this simulated DMD, which looks fantastic. It's an animated DMD. You're able to easily see, see it from the base of the pinball machine. Some of the other feedback on this pinball machine is you can't really see the scores on the back glass, but you can definitely see this, and it looks great. And to round out our travel through history, here's that same game Spooky, but this is the retro version. This is when Zakaria Magic Pixel took the original solid state table that was probably made in the 70s or 80s, and they turned around and they refashioned it as if the game was made in the 50s. Back in the era where it was just bumps and bells, baby. No special table electronics or things like that. And of course, you have the same static image as your back glass or animated image. But now for your DMD scoring, you have more of what you might want to call like those old roller displays uh, for keeping score. It's really, really cool to play all different versions of each game. I love it. All right, that gets us through what comes included. But let's take a look. How do these games look? Are they worth the investment? Obviously, a PC version or a PC running on a virtual pinball machine is gonna look the best. These At Games uh, Legends pinball machines are outputting at 1080p, and guess what? Magic Pixel, Zakaria, and the At Games engineers have all of these uh, games ported over running 1080p, so they look really good, really sharp. The amount of jagged edges or things, I'm trying to zoom in, and my DSLR camera there is going out of focus as we zoom in tight, uh, but the amount of jagginess or little uh, uh, serrated edges in the graphics is really minimal compared to what I've seen on some other in-home arcade machines. These games look really good. The tables are really clear. Um, standing far away, I mean, you really, really have to zoom in with your eyes or stick your nose to the glass on the cabinet to see any really um, flaws in the particular graphics. Everything is looking really good, and of course, every table has some pretty awesome animated back glass displays. And of course, everything is fully functional. And by fully functional, what do I mean? Well, that's right. With these pinball game packs running locally off the hardware, everything works. Everything, every feature of the cabinet works with these games. You're talking the plunger, you're talking your flipper buttons, you're talking the side and forward nudge buttons, you're talking the built-in accelerometer, you're also talking the back glass displays, the DMD, as well as the haptic feedback built into the Legends pinball machine, those exciters. Uh, everything works, and it works really, really well. It's a pretty good experience. Here's just a quick close-up shot of me shaking the table or lightly slapping the table, depending on your haptic feedback settings, how sensitive and all that you have it set up. As you can see, totally works. It was very important for At Games to make sure that they have every single feature of the Legends pinball table compatible with these games out of the box to make our purchases mean something. But if there's one little thing that, yes, I'm gonna repeat it, guys. I love it when you play the remake tables. I love this animated DMD built into the back glass. This is great. It's really cool. It's a lot of fun. It looks good. There's no like noticeable delay or anything like that with the action on the table. 
everything just works, man. It's really, really nice. And another home run they hit, of course, is in the physics of each game and how they perform. As you can see here, the At Games monitor is recessed about two inches into the cabinet, plus the way Magic Pixel ported these games over, the light effects and everything add some pretty awesome depth and realism to these virtual pinball games. These definitely look and play really, really well. The ball physics and everything perform, I have to say it, better on these games then the built-in games, and you guys know how much I love my Fireside Studios and my Gottlieb Pinball games, but I gotta call it when I call it, these games work so much better on this hardware and on this platform than the built-in games. And also, they will have leaderboards, you'll have local leaderboards and online leaderboards. Obviously, the online leaderboards haven't gone live yet. I have a feeling those are going to be going live very soon in a firmware update. Your local leaderboards and all that stuff is working already. And also, let me show you something else that's pretty cool, is if you head down uh, for each game, not only do they have leaderboards, but they have the rules where you can hop in and see, what do I need to do to get those big scores? What, how do I get multi-ball? How do I get a super uh, bumper score and things like that? All the rules are right there for you. Easy peasy. Not as detailed. I wish this looked a little bit better like what Zen and Farsight Studios do when you do that. Uh, Zakaria, it's usually just that list. It's kind of boring, but hey, at least it's there. And then, of course, if you head over under settings and scroll all the way to the right, you have your time of day settings. And this is really cool. Obviously, if you have it set to morning, the table's going to be super, super bright. It's going to be the brightest it can possibly be presented in. If you hit that button and flip it to afternoon, it'll bring down the brightness of the table. It'll make the table a little bit darker. And then, of course, if you uh, take it to night mode, it'll make the table even darker for playing at night. So you guys do have that option. I, of course, will always recommend playing on morning setting. That way the screen looks the best, is the brightest. So double check that when you fire up a game. Make sure it's set to morning. All right, guys, let's dive into some ball mechanics as well as the sound on all of these games. So as you can see here, of course, as I can't stress enough, when I play these games, the ones that you buy, the packs, I'm actually surprised. I totally forget that I'm not playing a PC version of these games. That's how impressed I am with how well these games are performing. And of course, when it comes to Zakaria Magic Pixel, their ball animations and ball effects have always been really good on all of the platforms they do this on. The ball actually looks like it's rolling. The ball actually has light effects on it. You could actually hear the ball rolling on the table. And of course, what's really interesting is it looks like a real ball. I know sometimes the Farsight Studios games, the ball is a very static image. It just looks like it's sliding across the table, but this makes it feel more real. Very well done on the ball mechanics, and of course, who doesn't like that sound? Man, I love the sound of pinball. And when it comes to game selection, I mean, you're talking 105 games. A lot of the games are different variations from different time periods. But out of 105 games, there's a pinball game for everybody. There's sports games. There's fantasy games to play, all different kinds. Combo. Double combo. Triple combo. There's goofy games for the kids and grown-ups alike to enjoy. And of course, there's those uh, brilliant, wacky, really out of this world games that Zakari is known for, such as Farfalla, Time Machine, Star God, all must plays on this system. Oh, 
Vision to the Future. Quantum of Since I love Star God so much, let's check out the um, original solid state version of the table, and then we're going to flip over to the remake. And of course, right here is the remake version, same game, but the remake, and it's a totally different experience. And as I mentioned earlier, as we kind of pan down and take a look at the table, of course, is that there are all new assets added to the table. We now have a sword on there. We have a snake, the Sword of Adder, which is one of the goals of this game, which I absolutely love. And as we kind of wind down here on the end of our review video, I have to say, um, when it comes to these games, I think these are a must-have for your Legends Pinball Machine. Run them off USB, no need to hunt down a PC, no need to plug in a PC, no need to stream a PC. You now have 127 games, and the 105 here plus the 22 Farsight Studio uh, Gottlieb games. You now have 127 games running locally, plus At Games is optimizing, and the Zakaria Deluxe tables are coming soon. So you're talking about 10 more tables, which will get us up to 137 if you buy that pack. And then, of course, the Taito original games that At Games is developing, about 12 of those. So guys, you're looking at about 149 games coming soon that you could run locally off the At Games hardware. Uh, my only concern is for um, if you got this for a hundred dollars on National Owners Day, I think you got your money's worth because you're talking 105 games. That's less than a dollar per game. If you didn't get this on National Owners Day, they're selling all all four packs, all the games for 200 bucks. That just seems a little bit high in my opinion. Um, however, it is what it is. That's really my only negative feedback. Is if you didn't get the nod price, you're paying a lot of money. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the content. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Give me your honest opinions, thoughts below. And as always, guys, thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you on the leaderboards. We have found a king, but we still have to find the sword. Be careful.